Hello everybody, and welcome to The Cecil, The Journey Begins, a game about a haunted hotel. Let's go ahead and get started. How did we end up in this hellish place? Sarah and I were just looking for a weekend getaway break from the stress of our daily lives. We found this hotel online, and it seemed like a decent place. A bit old-fashioned, but charming in its own way. We never expected it to be like this. After we checked in, we went up to our room. Everything seemed fine at first. We unpacked, talked about what we wanted to do during our stay, but, but then... We heard strange noises coming from the hallway. It sounded like someone or something was out there. I went to check it out, leaving Sarah in the room, and that's when it all went wrong. The next thing I knew, I woke up in this cell. I have no idea how I got here or how long I've been trapped. And Sarah, she's missing. I don't know where she is, but I have to find her. The walls have eyes. I gotta get out of this place. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. It's been way too long. So this is how long we've been stuck in this place, but this person can't even- I can't tell, like, if only one person has done this. Because multiple lines end in three. Or even start with three, so they're not even counting. They're not counting right. A pair of handcuffs. What's with these cuffs? Oh, can I not pick them up? Okay. They could be useful, you don't know. Ew. It's clogged. I had to put my hand in to figure out it was clogged. Should really date your pictures. Okay, so we have a plunger, sure. Add it to inventory. How do I switch over? All right, so I just spent the last five minutes trying to figure out how to use this plunger on this toilet. So the controls are very persnickety, it seems like. So I have to use the plunger from this angle specifically and nowhere else. I was trying to access my inventory and use it from here, which just didn't work. So you just have to Grab this chisel, I guess. Just kidding. Maybe I didn't figure out how to use the plunger on this toilet. Jeez Louise. Okay. Okay. The... The options say that to use... You left click. But I can't use from my inventory, it seems like, which is very frustrating. Equip items. Let me try, I guess, to do that. If I equip... Can I equip the plunger? From item one. No. So I can't press item one to do that, and I can't press item one... Oh! No, that's just me. So, no idea how to use this plunger. 
I have been trying for 15 minutes to try and unclog this toilet and just can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. So we're just gonna move on from that for now and maybe I'll find something else that will let me progress this story. I can't seem to use this either. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, well, how did I do that though? How did I do that? I just smashed buttons, really. There we go. I just smashed buttons. I have no idea how I did that. Um, so that's disappointing. I just kind of right clicked and left clicked at the same time to make that work. No idea what's going on with that. I sit alone in this cold, dark cell. The only sound, the constant drip of water echoing through the halls. The walls are made of stone and the door is thick and heavy, locked with a key that's just always out of reach. But I will not give up hope. I will not let this cell be my tomb. I have nothing but time and I will use it to my advantage. I will craft a tool, a weapon to aid in my escape. With nothing but a small piece of metal and my own determination, I begin to fashion a crude tool. Day after day, I work tirelessly, honing and shaping it until it becomes sharp and strong. I will use this tool to pick the lock, to break the chains that bind me. But as the days pass, I cannot shake the feeling of being watched. I can hear whispers in the darkness, a sinister laughter that seems to come from the very walls themselves. I fear that I am not alone in the cell, that there is something far more sinister lurking in the shadows. But I will not let fear defeat me. I will use this tool and escape this prison, no matter what horrors I may face. I will not rest until I am free. All right, and a knife. The weird tool is a versatile and unique tool that features a short, sharp pointed tip for precision cutting and piercing. Its unique design allows it to easily open and access small, tight spaces, such as holes and bolts, that may be rigged or difficult to access with traditional do tools. Tricks. Ooh, he's loud. Okay. Okay, so you have to... You have to right click... You have to right click to interact... You have to right click to interact with the item that you want to use something on and then you left click to use. Um, I don't, so the, the, the controls are a little confusing there, but we made it out alive. It took longer than it should have, but we've made it out and it's going to be okay. We just, we're just going to keep going. I guess there's nothing else I can take from here, so let's just look around. Nothing seems interactable. Okay. Aha. Huh. Memory updated. Find a way out. Is that a memory? That's just what my objective is. <laughs> Ten people, all missing from this hotel. What happened to them? An old weathered newspaper from a tragic era features a somber headline reading Victims of the Cecil. Emily Thompson disappeared after checking into a secluded hotel deep in the woods. Michael James found dead in his hotel room with a strange symbol carved into the wall. Ashley Rodriguez murdered in her hotel room by an unseen entity with no signs of forced entry. Jessica Brown vanished from her hotel room with only bloodstains left behind. Ryan Walker died in a mysterious fire that broke out in his hotel room. Samantha Davis suffocated in her sleep with no explanation for how the attacker entered the locked room. David Adams attacked by a monster that appeared from the shadows in his hotel room. Attacked by a monster that appeared from the shadows. How do they know that? 
was there a witness that said that there was a monster? He appeared from the shadows. Like, how did they know? Lauren Baker strangled to death by an unknown assailant in her hotel room with the door still locked from the inside. Brian Clark found dead in the hotel basement with no explanation for his death. Katie Lee dragged out of her hotel room by a mysterious force never to be seen again. That one, I guess, you could see on, like, a camera. But do the hotel rooms themselves have cameras in them? There's a radio on. Where's the radio? Oh, this is the radio. But how do you know the content? Oh, well. I wrote it. You wrote it. I had no idea you were... This postcard was completed but never sent. 30th of Westmont. With love, our Cecil Hotel guest, come again. Hotel manager Rebecca Cole. Okay. None of those drawers are interactable. That's an interesting chair. A strange shape. We need a magic wand to, o to reveal what's behind the painting. Dr. Gene Zimmers, I wonder if he's behind all this. Okay. I don't see any magic wands. There's definitely skulls up here, though. But I guess if it's a doctor... Okay. Sure. No signal. Is that what TVs look like when they have no signal? It's unusual, but this might prove useful later on. A very special thing to collect. A penguin robot? This may come in handy. The eyes are missing. They look like moons. The eyes? Are they missing? It looks like the artist just put moons where the eyes should be, which... Oh, I see. I got confused. Oh god. I did jump just a tiny bit at that. Only time will tell. Paintbrush moon, Moana sun, and sun. Oh? Okay, well it forced me to look at that clock. Which I'm not really a fan of. Looks like some sort of voodoo doll. So it forced my camera to look this way. And now it's forcing me to look this way. Yeah, we don't... Um, that's very, very hand-holdy. It's, it's not a puzzle if you show me the answers to the puzzle. It's fine, though. We'll keep going. I guess I gotta go on the other side. And we've learned that we right-click to left-click. So we right-click to left-click. Okay. Okay. A mask button thing? Did that unlock the door? No. Okay, so what did it do? See, this is what makes it a puzzle. Oh, were these here the, all the were these here the whole time? Poisonous injection. How would you know it's poisonous? You're not a doctor. You're not a doctor. What did this do? Okay, so it opened the drawer. The mercy key is a new type of key. I need to try the door with this. Yes, that is what I would do with the key. Alright, great. Alright, we right click so that we can left click. Now, it's time to find Sarah. It's time to find Sarah. 
uninvited guest. Explore the lobby. It's not a memory. It's not what the word memory means. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a window there. That makes sense. Okay. I, I can now see that the window is dirty. Hello? Um. Is anybody in here? It's like the the character is trying to jump scare me, but I am the character. So that's weird. I mean, just because there's like glass shattered on the floor doesn't mean there's someone in here. Light fixtures fail sometimes. John? It's very jerky because it forces your camera to look places, uh, which does make it feel a little jerky. And like you have less control than you think you do. Good evening, esteemed guests. Like that. Welcome to the reunion Seashore Hotel. We hope you are comfortable. We understand that the world outside can be a frightening place and that you've chosen to stay with us for a safe getaway. As you settle in, please remember to lock your doors and windows. Enjoy your stay at the Cecil Hotel. Ah, and remember, curiosity killed the cat, the cat, the cat, the cat. That's a little disconcerting. They didn't include... They didn't include subtitles for that. Which is a choice because... Can I turn on subtitles? No. Because that was kind of difficult to hear. Los Angeles Cecil Hotel. The Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles is actually a hotel that many people think is cursed because many people do die there. Relatively, I guess. I mean, you're not guaranteed to die, but a lot of deaths have happened there. And, and there have been, like, ghost hunting YouTubers who have gone to Cecil. I'm sure maybe actual, like... Television ghost centers have probably also gone to the Cecil. I just, I'm not aware of that. But it is an interesting hotel if you look into the history of it. I will note that the newspaper in the other room said it was a hotel secluded in the woods. So I don't know if this is meant to be the actual C Cecil or just taking homage to the actual Cecil. Paying homage even. The receptionist appears to harbor some ominous secrets. I must unravel what lies beneath. I have to focus to read it. It's no longer safe here. The lobby, once a refuge of warmth and welcome, now hosts an eerie silence that chills the bone. Shadows seem to move of their own accord, and the whispers, they're not just in my head, are they? In fear for our guests and ourselves, I've taken it upon myself to secure the key that unlocks the hallway to the rooms. I can't risk it falling into the wrong hands. I've hidden it well, stowed away where only the most observant eyes will find it. But I beg you, if you find this note, tread carefully. There's something terribly wrong in this place. It's as if the hotel itself is watching, waiting. Weird how the backside's blurry. Can I close that? Excellent. Um. It's an old map that is tattered and worn, as if it's been through countless journeys before. The parchment damaged with age, showing 12 doors in a circular formation. As I examine the map more closely, I notice that certain doors have a strange question mark on them, almost as if they hold some sort of secret or hidden meaning. 
12 doors in a circular motion? Does it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Handprint, question marks, X's. Interesting, okay. The register is missing one key. Good to know. Just take a look around. Room two oh three. Guess we can find room 203. She said the the corridor to the rooms was locked though. That's an ornate door. I'm gonna guess that all the doors are locked, but I'll try it anyway. Yeah. No big deal. Room 203. Maintenance. Oops. West Wing. It moves. Interesting. All right. I guess I'm, am I still exploring the lobby? Yeah, so I shouldn't be wandering. I'm looking for something that I haven't found yet. It's locked. What do I have? I have the weird penguin, some papers. Oh, this newspaper. I. Disappeared into after checking into a secluded hotel deep in the woods. Can I just smash it open? Can I just please smash it open? Statue is holding something.
I need to search every vase. What about the one downstairs that it wouldn't let me open? Can I have that one? Oh wow. <gasps> Gleaming key. Which I believe probably goes in here. Right click to left kick. Oh, that doesn't work. Room area key. Room area key. This way. This way is the rooms. Door has unlocked. Creepy. It's not creepy, it's just a little boy. It's only creepy if you make it creepy. Welcome, John. <laughs> I've been expecting you. I couldn't figure out that I had to press the flashing red so. button that said closed door. So that's something. I was trying to- I wanted to click on the door, but I had to literally press the button that said closed door. What do I do now, then? What's- what's the answer? Oh, gosh. Oh, he's not there anymore. I see. What does he want from me? What a great question, bud. Well, I have a, a key for 203, so is it even worth it trying to press all these doors? Zero. Zero ain't a room number. What is that? Hotel renovation alert, limit access, limited accessibility in some areas third floor. Okay. Oh, I have the key for this one. This is a, like a key card. And these are old style doors. All right. Something needs to be placed here, sure. Oh, pills. An old prescription bottle for pain. I wonder how often this was used. Vicodin, damn. All right, house. A storage supply room. Room 103 discovered a torn page from a ritual book with mysterious symbols. Room 202 found a locked drawer for, with a cryptic code etched on its surface. Room 301 uncovered a hidden compartment containing a partially burnt map and found a crowbar in a guest's bag. Room 402, I found a bloodstained note hinting at a hidden passage. I didn't touch it yet. Yuck. Room 501 discovered, I can't say. I took the crowbar I found in the guest's bag in room 301 to the supply room for safety purposes. I guess the, the supply room and maintenance are not the same. First safe voice message. Hey there, it's me. I hope you're holding up okay. Listen, I've got something important to tell you. I, I stumbled upon a clue that might just be our ticket out of this nightmare. You know that painting, The Last Supper? Well, it turns out it holds a secret, but you'll need to shed some light on it. Make sure the light faces the painting and go reveal a hidden path. Uh, follow that path, and who knows, it might just lead us to freedom. But Here's the thing, Olivia. Dr. Simmer's lurking around. Always watching, always scheming. Keep your guard up, stay sharp, and, and don't let him catch you. We're in this together, and we'll get through it. I believe in you. Stay safe, my friend. End of messages. All right. No subtitles once again.
Uh, the Last Supper, so kind of like Da Vinci coded. It's jammed. Why would it be jammed? Throw your body against it. There's probably a dead body on the other side, but like... Don't be a... <laughs> we shall see, John. We shall see. Okay. Can't open the other suitcase. Can't have the bottle of wine. Photograph is missing the other half. Nothing in the windows. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Well, I guess I'm done in this room. But I don't have anywhere else to go. This would be a new problem. Okay. Can use this to gain access to the safety box. What safety box? Safety box. Great. Can use this to break things down. We'll go back up to room 203. Then I guess the answer is to... No? Axe doesn't work. Okay. I guess we're going to level 3 would be my next option. Do I still have the axe? No. Okay. I don't have access to any of these rooms. Do these are these rooms open? Restroom. I have to be quiet. Okay. Storage area. Check in list weird object. Two dot dot dot. Three crowbar. Four note from sweet 608. Five bullets from 501. Six lockbox found at front desk. Seven device missing four parts. Check ins must be stored and door must stay locked. Crowbar. I need to get in there. I'm gonna assume that my crowbar will not work. Great. You can hear it's like the sound of water. This seems to be the only thing in here. So let's head back down.
Door has been unlocked. The other half of the photograph, could this be Olivia? Nothing else in here. Right click to so left click. Okay. Well, that's no good. The layout of the room area. One, two, three, four, five. Dear Diary, I don't even know where to begin. The last few months have been so dark. Like I'm stuck at the bottom of a pit, and every time I try climbing out, I just sink lower. I feel like a shadow of myself. I miss James so much. Being apart from him physically hurts. I lie awake at night, playing our last moments together, before he shipped off. I'm terrified each day may be the one I get news he's gone forever. This war has ruined us. Working at the hotel is unbearable now. The manager is a bully who threatens to fire me if I say anything about the bizarre stuff happening around here lately. The guests are so rude and demanding too. I hate every minute wandering these halls now. It's like the life has been sucked out of this place. And get this. There's some creepy guy in glasses who keeps popping up wherever I'm working. He just stares and lurks in the corners. It's the most unnerving thing. I don't know what he wants, but he's bad news. I can just feel it. He's constantly in the lobby, sitting on the couch by the ballroom next to the picture of a young girl. This guy freaks me out. Time capsule. Strange clock. A gun. Personal service pistol. Okay. Guess I'm done in here. Could this be her husband? James Joseph Quinn, blood type A positive, religion Catholic. Okay. Now I guess we're done in here. The clue is concealed within the Last Supper painting in the ballroom. Okay. Where is my map? Where is the ballroom? There's a big question mark at five. Could the ballroom be there? Room area map. Guess we'll do that. The ballroom seems to be a place of interest. I'd better head there now. Find the ballroom. We'll just run through and hope for the best. Oh. We can go back to the...
to the lobby, I guess. That's another option. It would make sense for a ballroom to be on the first floor. Oh. Okay. Is this all in my head? Of course it's all in the your Cecil head. The Cecil Hotel has a reputation for darkness, John. Who the fuck are you? Good luck. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. How do you like my new creation, John? You don't know that for my opinion. Oh my god, there's a wall. I missed far too many shots. Okay, apparently I can't walk into that little alcove. That's a fake door. Health injection? Okay. Just what I needed to get out of here. Hall key. Hall key. Head to the lobby. I don't know where the lobby is. Is this a door? Do I no longer have a gun? That's fine. I think I used all my bullets anyway. What are those? I also don't know. Where do I go? I thought that was a lever for some reason. What are these? I don't... No idea. I can't interact with them though. I don't believe I... Excellent. Where am I? First floor, great. We're going to the lobby. This is getting very creepy. Getting? You were locked in a <laughs> It was getting creepy, but he was locked in a jail cell. <laughs> In the basement, it's been, it was creepy from the start. John arrived with Sarah at the ominously looming Cecil Hotel, eager to explore its dark secrets and disturbing history. After settling into their dimly lit room, Sarah vanished without a trace, prompting John to frantically search every inch of the sinister hotel. He soon realized the Cecil was gripped by a malevolent presence, the twisted Dr. Zimmers and his evil experiments on innocent souls. As John navigated the, na the narrow halls adorned with unsettling portraits, he uncovered the tragic fates of those who came before him. In the room of the grieving housekeeper, Olivia Quinn, John restored a cracked photograph that transported him back in time. He witnessed Olivia's kind innocence before it was corrupted by the sinister doctor with guidance from his own childhood spirit. John performed cleansing rituals to help the tormented ghost find peace. They offered doctors and mitzvahs through unsettling the all to understand doctors. I tried. <laughs> I started. I should have started reading earlier, but I thought there would be a narrator voice again, and there wasn't. Um, I guess that's the end. Nothing. It didn't transport me back to a title screen. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Uh, but that was the demo for The Cecil The Journey Begins. 
the controls were wonky at first. I guess they're not wonky, but I don't know if I just was too dumb to understand them, but it took me uh, too long to figure out how to work the plunger in the toilet. 15 minutes because I kept trying to open my inventory. I kept trying to on in the game controls. It says that use is left click but you have to right click in order for it to pull up the menu that will allow you to use the item, which is then right click or left click. So, uh, so you have to right click to left click, which took me way too long. And I just figured it out by smashing buttons. It's handholdy at places where it just kind of forces you to look in a direction of the next piece of the puzzle, which I didn't necessarily like. I'm not a fan of that. And then in other places, you just kind of had to figure it out. So it's a mix of like being too easy and having, I guess, just too much to look at maybe, but I'm sure that once the full game comes out, maybe it would make more sense. So far, just from playing the demo, I'm not sure I'm gonna go back to it, but we'll see, you never know. Once the game comes actually fully comes out, maybe I'll give it another try, but until then, Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!